Welcome to this amazing Cinema 4D tutorial and this tutorial we're going to be doing uh... So I'm gonna take you through the process now today. It's quite simple and um, Cinema 4D is very easy to use compared with other um, engines out there, other 3D animation engines. It is very very easy to use. So I've worked with Blender, I've seen um, it does what Blender can do uh, very quickly. So what we might just want to do is just to create a new page, um, new file. So we're gonna need a plane. So we're again going to work on let's say a landscape so this way we're going to do our work and also another one we might need we might need a cube okay so we just bring the cube out just scale it down click you see this button you just scroll that down and just reduce it a little bit okay so we just bring this down to be okay so now when i click play nothing happens so we need to animate this thing so we need to this is where the physics comes into place. This is how Cinema 4D is very easy. So you just go to Sphere, uh, go to Simulation Tag and make it what? A rigid body. So when you make a rigid body, it falls. But you see, it falls through the, the plane here, okay? So we need to make this a collision body so that when it falls, it, um, it doesn't pass through it. So we go to the landscape and uh, uh, just make it a, a, uh, just make it a collision body. Yeah collision body so when we press play you see it falls on it and then rolls away but now this instead of um, the sphere instead of us we can just make it a soft body so once we do that it has a little bit of bounciness so you can see that so it bounces and then so it gives it a little bit of softness to it so what we can do let's just increase this landscape and uh, just make it a little bit fun um, but, so we just click on that, bring that down. So you can use your, hold down the Alt and your left click so that you can move things around. So you just hit, or you can just click on this button here. So you see it in different perspectives, okay. Okay, so that's our ball. So we can just move it back. Make sure you have frame zero. So click back here. So it go back to frame zero. So you can move the ball around. So just click on this one again. And um, let's just make this a little bit smaller. Okay. So we increase this a bit, and then um, so we play that, and then it falls on it. Now what we can do is that um, it looks very boring, so we can just spice things up a little bit. So just come on top here. That is a blend. So we want to. Uh, what we are trying to do is that we are trying to add some deformation to the to the landscape. So we just click on the landscape and then click on wind. So it's like so. Just drag it down to the landscape. Click it on the landscape. So it becomes a subchild of the landscape so what that does is that it moves the landscape so the landscape has some kind of movement to it so it doesn't look very straight and rigid so we can come down here and adjust the values how much we want it to how much we want it to move if you if i click off the flag it's going to be just straight and it looks uh very simple and if that is what you want you can go for that um so we have that and then what next we can do now you can see now um, so this they don't have any color so we need to give them some um some form of color just to make things a little bit interesting so you have a lot of modifiers you have a lot of deformations you can use here you have explosion i kind of love the explosion but we do that in another video i'll show you how to move from one transition to another make things a little bit cool but for now let's go for the material tab so click on the plus icon at the bottom here and when you click plus so you have a a new material here so what we want to do just scroll down we, do, we are not using the color we don't want to give a color um, we want a texture we want to give it a texture this ball so when you come here so I have a preset I downloaded this textures um, these are just normal pictures it doesn't have textures it's just normal pictures so this picture is going to wrap around the material around the image or the object you are trying to attach the material too, okay so i just wanted to have maybe this one so it looks a little bit like this one okay just click yes um, blah, blah, blah. now all you have to do is just drag this down to the sphere okay you do that you drag down to the sphere so automatically it has that um roundness to it but this the ball looks too big for me and um so i'm just going to scale that down oh i'm scaling the wrong one click on the ball and just scale it down okay so we play that and it goes down boom, boom, and 
rolls around okay so now you see the frame is too small, short so you can just come down here and let's say we make it uh let's say 200 frames okay so we're working with 200 frames so we can at least see a little bit of fun so we click on create another material and then we want another texture for it this time we're going to select this space sort of like the clouds on that just click yes and uh, drag that to the landscape you can drag it here or you can just do it here anyone you want it does the same thing for you click play okay so we can just zoom in a little bit so when you click throw out on your see it renders your image for you okay? so you actually see how your work looks like okay so we can just push this down a little bit um let's render it mm -hmm. so we have something like okay so we have that and then so what we can do is that this sphere tool we just click on this proper you know we created the to make it a soft body so just click on this first button here and then you can go to the collision and maybe do a little bit of adjustment to it you can see the mass the density of it it's a wall density so uh, we can change it how how big we want it to be how um the falls and all of those things if you the damping if you put it at 50 percent so it uses uh, 50. so the damping reduces this movement but we're just gonna leave that now one Okay, so we're just gonna do the one we want to work on. We come here to the bounce. So if you increase the bounce, so just if you play around with these values, increase the bounce. Let's say to 50%. Makes the ball bounce a little bit. The friction, the friction is the how the body moves, the opposition the body faces to when it collides with other objects around it. Okay. So you see, if I reduce the friction, because there's no friction now, it easily slides off the plane, okay? So it goes off easily. Or if you increase the friction, at least you put in some kind of position to the movement so it doesn't just move anyhow freely like that. And uh, so that's it. So you can click on the ball, go back, and just make the ball smaller. And... Uh, Play that. Let's play that and see. Okay, and uh, so if you can leave it at the soft body, or we can take it back to the rigid body. So if we put a rigid body and then we play, and we go back, it, it acts like a very solid object. So it rotates about. So it depends on what exactly you're doing. So I'm going to undo that. Kind of like the, the soft body. Um, kind of like the sub body aspect of it. So we just go back there, go back to the sphere, click on its simulation, and choose the soft body. Um, play that, and then you have something like that. So now the last thing I want to show you is just um, we can add some sound effects to this, just to make it a little bit nice and cooler. So come here to the layout standard and just click on animate. Okay. So I'm using Cinema 4D S. 24 that's the latest kind of latest version and then um, so um, What we can do is that before we can have the sound like it should be here um, We cannot just create a sound layer like that. So what we need to do is we need to like animate one of the layers Just click on um, Anyone you can click on the spear on the on the landscape. Just press this button here So we just have kind of like an animation so We click on the sphere just um, click on the size there. Okay, so we don't need it, but we just animating. We need the animation to be locked, to be unlocked, so we can do that. So from there, just right click, add property. When you do that, just come on to create, and then we want to create special tracks, and then we want a soundtrack. Okay, so when you click on the soundtrack itself, and then you see this opens here. So just select the folder you're looking for. Like I already had the. The thunder clubs i just downloaded it like you just go search online where the ambience hurricane storm blah 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 you have it so i already have it there yeah, so when i click on this you just unlock that uh scroll down collapse it and when you play it so there you have it 
so we have the sand attached to it so now the next thing that we can do is just go, let's go back to the layer we just go back to uh just go back to a normal layer the standard layer and um so if you play that we have the sound so the next thing we want to do we want to go and fix our render settings so we just go to output and then um, we want to select all the frames that we're going to work on so click your frame range we're working on all the way from frame 0 to 200 we go to the save and you choose where you want to save your uh, file uh visually have mine in the progs and then uh, cinema 4d renders and uh, um, you can just name it uh, Okay, let's save that. Then you want to change the format of it. It can render out pictures, different series of pictures for you, but we're just going for an MP4. And um, we have that, no, we don't need the alpha channel. We, have, we just click on alpha channel so you can render it out as later on. You can use it in any other place, maybe like an animation or in a film. Or, so we have that now. All we need to just click on the play button. So what that does is that it renders the, it renders the, it starts the rendering for you as you can see here. So it's doing all the rendering, it's rendering frame by frame. Okay, so um, so uh, rendering is done. Um, so usually you don't use this to render, but in later video I'll show you a more appropriate way of doing your rendering. Um, so for now we just go to a file where we saved our work um, in the documents I believe. Um, Cinema 4D and renders, so we have that the YouTube. Okay, it gives us two files. The first one is the alpha. If you want to use this later, but we don't need it now. So the one we're going to work with is this. Our six second animation um, so you can use this anywhere you can use it in a film you can use it uh, in games and all of those things maybe later videos I'll show you how to integrate them to yeah, so that's how you make um, a simple animation in cinema 4d and um, so if you were to try this in other engines let's say for blender you're gonna have a lot of work to do you need to set in the timeline and all of those things but with this it's just a few clicks you don't even necessarily have to work with the timeline and you've done a lot of animation like this so imagine how cool it is okay so if you've not subscribed please hit the subscription button um like the video share the video and till i meet you next time bye